Heads up. Go ahead. Sure thing. Alive. Grab anything useful. Good plan. Check it out. Count on See if there's anything there. Take anything good. Can Grab do. that.
You see that big blimp? It's the Brotherhood of Steel. Not now. Another time, then? Is it good to keep going? I don't sleep or eat or anything like that. But if you need to, you do it. Hanging out with Valentine, huh? Good for you. Nikki's good people. Ah, you know what I mean. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? I... I didn't make it in time. Kellogg was working with the Institute, and, and he... He gave them Sean. I've lost them all over again. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, I knew he wasn't gonna go quietly the moment I saw him. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. There's no way that could ever work. <clears throat> Stay with me on this. We get a piece of Kellogg's gray matter and take it to Amari. Then we see if she's got the goods to pull this off. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream scoop. I'm sure you'll manage. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Heads up. Take a look.
It's big, loud, full of corrupt officials and brown-nosing citizens, but it's home. A few moments later, Plenty of shops inside the city if you need to trade. Hey, Valentine. Time to hit the road? Just looking to trade a little. Oh, sure thing. for you. City <laughs> the war. 